Hi, I'm Kevin Oyang, and we're here at Digital Health Summit at CES in Las Vegas. And here today I'm with Sunny Vu of Misfit Wearables. Uh, Sunny, there's been a lot of exciting new technology in the uh, activity tracking space, and why don't you tell us about your product from Misfit Wearables? Uh, our product is called the Misfit Shine. It's um, it's a daily activity tracker, just like uh, many of the other products out there. Our uh, main differentiator really is the fact that we focused on elegance, making a product that uh, is made of all metal. So it's something that you can wear to anything. You know, I'm, I've got it here on my jacket to a kind of a business casual type of event, and but I could wear it just as easily to sleep or even to, uh, uh, if I'm swimming, so because it's waterproof. Mm -hmm. And what, what kind of functionality does this 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 device really do for you? You know, in many ways, it's very similar to other activity trackers. Um, uh, it measures your steps, it uh, measures calories, distance walked and whatnot. Um, it measures swimming and cycling as well, because you can wear it in those contexts. Okay. So just about anything you do physical, it'll measure it. Okay, now I've seen a lot of activity trackers, and most of them are made out of plastic. Mm. Tell me a little bit about how you came up with the design for your product. You know, we thought about first, what is it that people normally wear? You know, it's not, it's cotton, it's metal, precious metals, uh, precious stones, leather maybe, uh, but it's not plastic and rubber, you know? Those are not natural things that you want to wear naturally, right? Um, and so we decided to go with materials that you would wear. So we love metal, so we decided something to make something out of all metal. It's beautiful, so you could wear it anywhere. Great, great. Now a product like that, that must be really expensive, isn't it? Well, you know, it's not uh, inexpensive to make for us. You know, each piece is handcrafted out of a piece of aircraft grade aluminum. And so it's, uh, it's tough. And then they're laser cut and diamond drilled, you know. And so they're, they're things that uh, take, it's a high, highly crafted type of product. Um, we're making it available to users for $100. Uh, so it's the same price as all the other, the other products on the market. Oh wow, that's a, that's a great price actually. So let me tell, tell me a little bit about um, your design philosophy. I know you speak a lot about the user being first and you were talking about that today with Ariana Huffington and Deepak Chopra. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, well, at the heart of our organization is a very, um, is a core f uh, value, a core philosophy of servant leadership. And uh, for us, what the first person, to the, the first um, party for us to serve is the user. So at the c company, um, the user is at the is at the core so um, so we think about what the user would want to wear first then put technology and science into that rather than figuring out what we can make and then asking people to wear it very different approaches we're thinking you know you start with the user great very cool and let's see you were one of the top 10 gadgets for CS 2013 right. and you guys have only been around for 18 months right. tell me a little bit about how the contest is going and how viewers can help you out Oh yeah, well we've been having a lot of fun and we were so um, uh, humbled to even be selected to be a top 10 gadget, we had no idea. I mean, you know, we, like you said, we, we haven't been around too long, but we have been focused, like I said, obsessively on the user and I think uh, people are enjoying that. So um, the voting is, is intense, you know, we've been, uh, it's been going pretty well, but uh, a, another product just popped up last night and overnight, uh, between like, uh, yeah, literally overnight they had 3,000 votes. So it's, it's neck and neck uh, right now. So if uh, people would vote for us, we'd be really grateful. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now you've got like a really interesting board behind you. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about who's backing you? Yeah, sure. So we've, um, uh, so the other founders on the company in the company are uh, Sridhar Iyengar, my partner from from Aga Matrix. We um, uh, we started my last company uh, about 12 years ago, and so we've been friends since college. Uh, the other person is uh, John Scully, the former CEO of uh, Pepsi and Apple, and we. Um, uh, he's, he's excited about healthcare, he's excited about consumer uh, products uh, just like us. And so we, um, we, we, it's, been, uh, it's, it's really an honor to have John on board as well. Um, we're backed by Coastal, found, uh, Coastal Ventures, uh, so Vinod Coastal is involved, and um, uh, Founders Fund, so Brian Singerman's on our board. Uh, so it's been great to get their support. Very cool. Well, thanks for taking the time with us today. Uh, and where is this website we go to, to to help you out? Yeah, just go to uh, lastgadgetstanding.com and you can vote there. And if you and the product's available actually to be pr um, on pre-order right now for the ne only for the next few days, so people can get on a, at a discount at misfitwearables.com/shine, and so you can get it there. Well, thanks a lot, Sunny. I'm Kevin Oyang with Digital Health Summit. Thanks for signing in.